Denning Coach for Smart, Strong, Successful Women, your personal trainer for love. And today we're talking about casual sex. Right? Should you have casual sex when you're actively looking for a relationship? So let it be said right at the top. No one is decrying casual sex. No one is slut shaming. No one is passing judgment on casual sex. I was very good at casual sex for many, many years. Right? That said, um, looking for a relationship is very different. Uh, and sometimes, whether we like it or not, casual sex often has emotions involved. And that's where things get a little bit sticky. Um, and so this is a question I got on my blog years ago. I thought it was worthy of making a video about it. Uh, I actually knew the woman who wrote the question and she said, she was a client of mine. And she said, um, you know, I'm looking for love, I'm looking for marriage, but I'm a woman in her late 30s and I sometimes have an itch that I need to scratch. And is it wrong of me to indulge in you know, no strings attached sex when my end game is to have a real relationship. I don't know what you think. Um, uh, I think uh, the answer is always going to be individual and personal. Like anything I say here, you have the right to disagree with and, and contradict because it doesn't work for you. I really kind of give advice to the masses in general. But in general, right, studies show, not just my opinion, is that women get more emotionally attached during sex. We could talk about why, it could be cultural, could be biological, the presence of oxytocin, the bonding hormone. Um, it, it's a real thing, it's not a made up thing. Um, so a lot of women want to have casual sex, right? Uh, want to say, I don't care, it doesn't matter. And I know many women who have, my, my wife included, had a phase after her divorce where it was casual sex and she was, she was actually really fine with it. Um, but a lot of women want to do it without emotions and then find out, find out that there are emotions right, afterwards, whether, whether she likes it or not. And it decreases their happiness. I mean, they say that hookup culture, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all sexual, we're all evolved, men and women can do the same thing. Hookup culture is generally more satisfying to men than to women, right? Emotionally on the whole, right? With tons of exceptions to these rules. So to my client, when she said, can I pursue casual sex when I'm also pursuing a relationship? Are those at cross purposes? The answer is no, right? Not no, you can't, but no, they're not at cross purposes. You can do it as long as you're taking care of yourself emotionally and you don't invest too much time in the casual relationship. And that's where things tend to go a bit awry, despite the best intentions. Some will say, okay, he's going to be my no strings attached guy. He's going to be my fuck buddy, right? And that's what he becomes. He becomes the text, hey, what are you doing now? Can you come over? What are you wearing? Right? And that's, that's all well and good until that, A, that guy ends up taking up too much time where you're seeing him every Friday night due to lack of a better option, right? Or your emotions get involved. But let's put the emotions aside. Let's just talk about the time investment. If this is a once a week guy to help you scratch your itch, that's one night a week that you're not out looking for the guy that's gonna be your husband. That's where it ends up flipping over. It's the time investment, not just the emotion. It's, it's the idea that every second you're with the wrong guy is a second that you're not looking for the right guy. So again, I've got no judgment of you if you say, hey, I like sex. I don't mind having sex with a guy that I don't care about and is not gonna be my husband and I'm never gonna see again. But the more time you spend doing that is the less time that you're investing looking for the real deal. And that's where you have to make a trade-off. Sometimes we, you know, th those sex partners become almost surrogate boyfriends to the point where you say, I don't even need a boyfriend, <laughs> right? And now it's flipped out of control and you're actually sabotaging your chance of finding true love and marriage because of your, your no strings attached guy. So keep screwing away, no judgment here. Just make sure that you're investing your time on the most part on the guy who does have a future instead of the guy who doesn't have a future. My name is Evan Mark Katz. I am your dating coach. I thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, tell a friend, subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Give me your name and email address at evanmarkkatz.com. I will give you free dating and relationship advice that helps you understand men and find love. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video.